morning everyone and welcome to another trip report. Today I'm flying Air Tahiti from Los Angeles to Paris on Air Tahiti in business class. Been looking forward to this one. They recently just upgraded their A340-300 to the Boeing 787-9 so it features a all new business class cabin on a slightly unheard of airline on a more interesting route so let's go check it out. I jumped in my Uber and headed off to the airport. Air Tahiti Nui fly from Tom Bradley Terminal at LAX. The Tom Bradley Terminal at the airport is fairly impressive with lots of space and is nice and modern. You're also granted access to the Los Angeles International Lounge, which is shared with some other airlines. Now the lounge is quite small and it's not the best lounge out there. I definitely wouldn't recommend arriving hours ahead of your flight time to enjoy the lounge because there honestly isn't that much food or things to enjoy in the lounge. So just make sure you take a quick visit. Air Tahiti only recently started guaranteeing the 787 on the Los Angeles to Paris route as it's a really new aircraft for them. The 787 features 30 lie flat seats in the business class cabin spaced out in a 222 configuration. I also want to point out that they are actually lie flat seats because on TripAdvisor and SeatGuru it does say they are angle flat seats which isn't actually true, they are lie flat. The seat design they chose is the BE Aerospace Diamond seats which are paired in twos and are actually very comfortable to sit in. Waiting at your seat when you arrive is your pillow and amenity kit and all of your bedding you need to enjoy during the flight. Also, a welcome drink of champagne is provided as soon as you sit down. There are also power points and coat hooks and also the headphone jack is located just behind you. Also, there are plenty of reading materials and headphones to use during the flight are at your seat when you arrive and also a bottle of water is handed out to you as you wait. Tower 18 on 8, good morning, uh, for ready. Tahiti and heavy oil charge taxi, full length, sunny 258, land up next, have to go across. Okay, taxi full length, uh, line up and wait, uh, 25 right, 8098. Tahiti and heavy oil charge, Ackerman 2508, runway 25 right, clear to take us. Clear for take off, 25 right, uh, via Docker, 8098. Our takeoff and climb out from LAX was nice and smooth and before we knew it we were up at the cruising altitude of 37,000 feet. Shortly after that the hot towel was handed out to business class passengers along with a copy of the menu and also the wine list. Now this being a partially French airline, the wine list was very, very extensive. I'm just going to show you a brief overview of the wine list and if you want to see more of it, make sure to check out the longer edit of this video. Today we started off with the guacamole varine and marinated shrimp as the amuse-bouche and I also enjoyed that with a glass of the rosé champagne. As I said before, this airline really loves its wine, so I was actually encouraged to try multiple red wines to pair with my lobster before deciding which one I wanted to go with. This was great customer service by the airline and really showed that they actually cared about the food and drink they were offering. And yes, that's right, today for my starter I would be having lobster, which tasted really good and very fresh, very enjoyable starter. For my main today I did go with the braised chicken with pasta and vegetables on the side, which for LAX catering was actually quite a good main meal, so no complaints from me there. After enjoying my main meal it was time for the cheese plate, which was paired with yet another wine. Just about ready to eat the cheese plate and I also discovered that dessert was going to be arriving at the same time so I now had a fully loaded table of delicious food to enjoy. Air Tahiti Nui have been flying the Dreamliner since November 2018 and you can tell that they are very proud to be flying this aircraft. They really are a very small airline with just five aircraft flying to five international routes around the world. If you need it there is also a charging point between the two seats and a USB power port as well. The amenity kit was very nice containing all the usual items, toothbrush, toothpaste, comb, face mist, eye mask, socks, so a great bunch of items there to have during the flight. I then decided to check out the in-flight entertainment. 
Now, there is also Wi-Fi to use on the aircraft for a fee, but the entertainment has a big and vast selection which is kept very up to date and has nice picture quality on the screen. And as I said earlier, the seats are fully flatbed seats. They are not angle flat. So just to show you here, it's a fully flatbed seat. After the meal service, the crew turned out the lights and the passengers relaxed for an evening sleep as we flew into darkness crossing over the Atlantic. The bed was actually fairly comfortable and I did manage to fall asleep for about an hour before waking up checking out the bathroom. There's also some snacks that you can eat during the flight. Before I knew it, with about 1 hour and 45 minutes to go, the crew turned on the lights and brought around some hot towels to begin the breakfast service. The offering today was going to consist of a fruit plate with a yogurt and a croissant on the side to start off with. And for my breakfast main, I decided to go with the omelette with potatoes and sausage served on the side. This was more like catering I'd expect from LAX. I have really enjoyed my overnight flight experience with Air Tahiti Nui on the 787. I found the seat and bed to be very comfortable and also really enjoyed the food provided during the flight. For such a small airline flying such long routes, I'd be more than happy to fly them again in economy, premium economy or business class on the 787. I hope you enjoyed this review and look at Air Tahiti Nui today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and leave a comment and let me know what you think about this review or the airline. So thanks for watching and see you again next time.